Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to the final review of the Korean drama, The Atypical Family. The finale, I thought it was okay. They definitely gave us a happy ending, which I was happy because I kind of thought they were going to pull the plug. And also, they covered some loose ends, which is pretty rare nowadays. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's get to it. So I thought it was eh for Donggi's ex fiance to be the last villain. I'm going to put that in quotes. I mean, he did cheat on her and tried to blackmail her, trying to expose her secret. But when he started the fire, I was thinking, okay, you don't really need a villain for that. You just need an idiot character. But with the fire, that did lead to the question that we were all asking, was Kiju going to be taken out? Let's use his cut for an example. He got cut when he went back to the past, which means anything can hurt him and anywhere too. Now let's go back to the fire. He did try to stop a wall from falling on to Ina and Dahe, and they were able to escape, but the wall fell on him, and then he wind up into the past, 13 years ago, and we actually see him saving Dahe. But this is where they shocked me, confused me, and then shocked me again. The first part, they actually pulled the plug. I was like, Kiju really did? Then jump years later we see dahe and her son like when did she get pregnant but then a moment later we see him actually back standing holding his son's hand now this is the actual kiju because at that moment that's not the path so my thoughts on the drama i thought it was okay it's not the best but it's not the worst either interesting story with time traveling a lot of memorable moments um i can name a few uh, one would be Ina uh, revealing everything that she was feeling. You know, that moment made me cry. Matter of fact, any moment with Ina, I cried, I laughed, I smiled. Let's not forget Khan Mom acting sincere and kind-hearted. And it's probably the first drama in a while, well, as far as I know, that actually tied a lot of loose ends, if not all of it. And that's pretty rare. A couple of examples would be Ina and her friendship with Hedim. You got Kiju going back to the past and actually accepting his colleague's death. And yeah, that's pretty much a gist of my review and the drama. Is there anything I might have missed in this episode? Please leave in the comments below. I just want to say a quick thank you for everyone tuning into my review and watching this drama with me. I know this drama wasn't for everyone. I got a lot of comments on that. But... I mean, again, it's not the best, but it's not the worst, but it's a comfortable watch. That's the best that I could put it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.